Hello everyone and welcome to the second 7 top tips on the road to the GT Academy qualification round. This is another interesting one, it's another one outside the game and it's all about health and food. Now I've said this many times and I'll say it again, if you aren't training then you already should be otherwise you are going to really struggle at the national finals. Every year everyone gets fitter and fitter so make sure you're training and training properly. Uh, but when I mean by training properly, I mean doing the right exercises. So think about cardiovascularly and think about your core muscles as well. So cardiovascular could be cycling and then your core muscles, obviously doing the plank for example, that will really help your core. Now I did say health and food, so food is an interesting subject. Now if you're doing some time trials, for example a qualification round, and you have a big dinner beforehand, you may find yourself quite tired after it find yourself quite drained during it so perhaps think about smaller lighter meals uh, if you have m more meals more often but smaller portions uh, it'll help increase your metabolism may help you to lose weight things like that now it's not just food it's drink you should also think about as well now drinking healthily is very interesting drinking cans of coke all the time sugar doesn't help you at all really especially when it's like 13 teaspoons full of sugar in a can of coke so make sure you're drinking water lots and lots of water keep yourself hydrated hydration during exercise is good hydration while you're playing is good it allows the mind to think it allows you to feel a lot better in yourself and of course when it comes to the final round and then the final night of the final round you're probably there itching to try and get that last extra tenth uh, I'd recommend a good cup of tea or coffee a uh, bit of caffeine in you uh, because that'll just help you focus but make sure when you have that you also have a glass of water before and a glass of water after because caffeine requires water to work properly if you don't if you're not hydrated if you don't have water it actually dehydrates you and it will make you uh, perform worse so that was my quick top tip my second top tip which is health and food so think about those things I'll see you at the next top tip, which is tip number three.